Well, you welcome back once again to my channel and the name is Samuel from Ghana and last week we had a very bad news like come on I wasn't expecting this at all I think this is not the right time and the sad news is about the Ekweme hit maker Ekweme 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 you are the living God that woman that wonderful woman was announced dead and this is what happened they said um it is alleged she had a throat cancer that is what was circulating but yesterday her sister came out to make it clear to the public that her sister didn't die a sister didn't die out of cancer no that is not what killed her but rather a sister died as a result of cluster of blood in her chest and it is from the severe kicking of her husband, according to the sister. That is what she said. And also she said, the man doesn't allow the woman eh, to visit a family home with their grandchildren. And even if they do, they don't keep long. The man book flight the same day so that they will return back to uh, the city. And she said a whole lot. And also she said her sister don't complain things to them anymore because of her religious background you know she keeps things to herself the man has been abusing her for a very long time but she doesn't want to open it to people like not even her whole family so she has been enduring this for a very long time also her sister said i told my sister Sinechi to to separate with the man for some time like she's saying that she's not urging her to i mean break up with the husband no she wanted her sister to have a little peace of mind so that when things are okay, she will let her come back to the husband. But the sister didn't listen to her. She rather was telling her sister that she doesn't want to break up with him. She needed some time, but the man will change according to what Sinechi's sister said in an interview. So Sinechi, you should have let your family know what you are going through. You should have let the family know that you are in an abusive relationship. At times, she tried to cover a whole lot of things, according to the article. You see, and look at where it has landed you to. Such a, such a wonderful woman with a lovely voice. I'm not too religious, but when this woman sings, I normally get goosebumps all over me. She has a powerful voice. Come on. You should have reported this man long time. So this is a greater lesson to each and every one of us here on this earth. Anyone in any relationship, whether it is working or not, as soon as the person raised their hands on you, the person hit you, please, if you love somebody, you are not going to hit the person. If truly you love the person deep down from your heart, I don't think you hit the person in the first place because you, you, you let the whole world, you let your family knew that, I mean, People around you knew very well that you love the person. Do you hit somebody when you love them? No, you don't do that because that is love. So please, if you are in an abusive relationship or marriage, run away. Don't let it get extreme before you run away. No, run for your life. They will slap you today. Tomorrow, it's not going to be slap. It's going to be something different. It is stages. Eh? When they slap you and you don't run away, the next time, I don't know what's going to happen. Please, if you love somebody, you don't hit them. I feel very sad for the family. And condolence to Nigerians, the whole world especially to the family it's like the man doesn't know what he had he has lost a treasure he has lost a treasure and this is what pains me they said whenever the woman had a show eh, normally when they book the woman to perform they deposit the money to the man account because of your insecurity they said he is too jealous sometimes does jealousy grant you to abuse somebody to the extent the person will lose their life Huh? 
if you are in a bad relationship, it's better you run away. Just run away. Like, go, go. We have billions of people in this world. At the right time, you meet the right person. Okay? It is sad to hear this. Also, in Africa, some culture will make you look like if you are not married, you are not complete. That is totally nonsense. Why don't you put yourself first? Previously, when you are not married, does it make you less? Does it make you incomplete? No. You have your life you are living. Until you met somebody who said they love you and you gave your heart to the person. Doesn't mean the person should abuse you. If you are married to somebody, doesn't mean they've sold the person to you. The person has a family. So make sure if you are dealing with your partner, you don't go extreme. That is too much. For you to take somebody's life. Precious life. Such a wonderful woman like this. Come on. We should stop that stigma in the first place. That if you are not married, it, it doesn't make you complete. No. It is because of some culture that we, 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 we belong to. That will make you look like you are not complete as a human being. Because you are not married. Or you don't have children. But previously, you were enjoying your life. When you haven't engaged into something like that. You see? So put yourself first. Don't do things and regret later. Marriage doesn't mean the person has been sold to you. No. Never. I don't want to repeat this again. Please, if you are in an abusive relationship, run away. Run, oh, run, Johnny. Run away. Run away. Don't die before you report to your, your, your family. Let your family members know clearly that this is how the man is treating me or this is how the woman is treating me. And put stop to that. Don't be in that relationship because of your religious background. If I quit with a man, my, I don't know what people are going to say because um, I'm a gospel musician. My pastor, my father is going to, I mean, say a lot of things just to maintain the relationship. My pastor will not agree that why am I breaking up with it is against the, the, the religious principles. Come on. My sister, don't sit there and die. You. No, no, no. Don't do that. And I will never, un unless my sister don't explain things like this to me, I will never sit down to, to, to let my sister go through something like that. I will make sure that I will take the legal action before it's too late. Come on. Don't entertain that. Some believe will make you look like if you, if you are not in a relationship or you don't have children, that means you are not a human being. Or you haven't fulfilled uh, whatever. My sister, my brother, if you are in an abusive relationship, just run away. If somebody loves you, if, they, if truly somebody said they love you, eh, they will not hit you in the first place. They are not going to touch your skin or slap you. Come on. If you slap somebody that you love, what does it what does it mean to you? Does it mean you love the person or you hate the person? So we shouldn't let religious and other culture beliefs should let us remain in an abusive relationship. No, never. So that is my piece of advice to the whole world. So if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell, right? Any update concerning about this particular issue, I'll make sure that I'll bring it to you. The name still remains Sam. Peace.